Third, you can see the SCM, the sternocleidomastoid. Right behind the sternocleidomastoid is where your scalings are going to be. It's often good to feel and be able to grab that muscle. All right? Um, now, remember, the SEM comes up here to the mastoid, all right, uh, process, and then right behind it, remember the scalings are uh, from the cervical spine, all right, C2, 3, 4, C1, 2, 3, and 4, all right? So, and they go down to rib space one and two, which is on the inside part of the clavicle going straight down. Now, this is an area that is very sensitive to most people, all right? No one, most people don't like you playing around their neck, all right? Um, hanging issues, choking yeah. issues, whatever, okay? So you wanna be careful with that. So a couple ways is, in relaxing the neck, you're pressing and lightly rubbing. So all I'm doing is this motion right here, okay? To warm up or release the area. Now to identify the difference between the scalenes and the SEM, I usually have the person turn their head and lift your head up. You see how the SEM comes up right there, this whole muscle, okay? Right behind that, into a little triangle back here, is the scalene's muscles, all right? So then relax your head, so you know where you're working, all right? You can do the same thing, both sides, lift your head, find the base, relax, and then come down. So now you're into the uh, scalene's. There are two ways you can do that. You can come in, and up in terms of releasing just lightly so as the, they're breathing in and you can feel and you're just bringing it up two words all right and you're just going in this motion. Okay? Just real light. And as I said, once you're touching the muscle and you're able to feel that muscle, you work it with the breath. All right? So that's at this origin spot. At the insertion, you can come in and press down. Now you want to be cautious of the arteries. All right, and this, I'm just leaning coming from this uh, turn where the SCM connects at the uh, sternoclavicular uh, notch. That's where the SCM connects. Right behind that, you'll find there's a light little space, and you're just pressing in as they exhale, lightly. All right, and then you can always have the person, once you have the muscle pinned and you're there, have them turn their head to the opposite side. And then back, turn the head to your left. And then again. How many times do I recommend? Three. Three. Three times. Make nice. Go down. Find that spot where they connect. You're just putting your placing your fingers right there, allowing the breath to invite you in. I coast 2017. Once you feel like the muscle has allowed you to touch, pin it, then you're going to turn to your right with the exhale.
Now, that's one way, all right? Now, oftentimes I will come in and grab and release around the neck and shoulder trap area in terms of grasping to release that area or making nice to relax it. Couple cautions, all right? There's a artery that runs right on the inside of this SCM here, all right? If you're feeling pulsations, that means you're on that artery. You wanna get off. We only wanna work the muscle. We don't wanna cause any inclusions or, or, or cause any thoracic outlet syndromes, all right? Which are compression of the artery or the nerve that uh, can cause bruising to that, and we don't want that. So we wanna be careful. Notice we work slowly and use the breath to lead us in to hold that muscle and then we work either with passive movement or light movement as we move to release that. And then we can press and check. Head looks fine. Good way to check the head is put your fingers at the top of the traps where the neck and the traps meet and then look at both sides. They should both come up to the same area, all right? Um, if one side is up, like one side you're touching the ear and the other side you're not, obviously the head is off. And later on I'll show you how to balance the head. All right? Um, I want you to get up and walk around now.